Alright, so today I'll be showing you some of the funny and unique cars I own in Roblox Greenville. So we'll start off with this limited pumpkin vehicle. As you can see, obviously you get this from the Halloween event. But look at this thing, bro. Like, it's so strange. And it sets on fire when you turn the lights. Look at this thing. You get a nice interior. Look at this. Like, <laughs> it's a really unique car to drive around in. Um, and it's like pretty fun. I like this idea as a... Halloween car, you know, it's really really nice and the light. I really like the lights as well in this thing um, So yeah, anyway next vehicle I own that's unique is this shopping car over here um, Is an underglow which is one of the main features. I like um, It's out of fuel for some reason. Maybe I drove it too much um, But yeah, it can fit one, two, three, four, five people, so you can drive in first person. Um, and yeah, in general, it's a really funny car to drive around in, in public servers. Next, you have the Kim K Rolls Royce. Look at this. Not Rolls Royce, what am I saying? The Kim K Cybertruck. Yeah, Kim K Cybertruck. So look at this thing. Um, it's real, real searing, as you can see. So look at that. Really cool. Got some unique rooms. And fun fact, if you get out and tap this glass over here, Watch what happens. Just keep spam clicking them. And boom. Oh jeez. I think someone may have hit the golf ball in the window. Um yeah. Guess this glass is not bulletproof. Um you can't even handle a golf ball. So, yeah. Um I do like this car and stuff. It's pretty fun to drive around in with this rear wheel steering. Um and yeah, I like this car a lot. Anyway, next one is this Renault 5. This is a really goofy car, but it's actually a car with a really cool interior. So let's get in. Look at this interior, bro. Look at that. This is absolutely crazy. Um, this is obviously licensed, but look at that. Really cool. Really, really cool. Let's look at this really cool roof on top with some patterns. Um, yeah, it's not a really quick car. But it's a pretty interesting car inside. Like, you can actually drive in first person in this thing. Um, so yeah, really, really like it. This car is free, by the way. Like, absolutely free. Anyway, next unique car I own is the Cadillac Escalade. This is a really rare car. You don't see it much. Um, you, you don't see it often. Because um, it's off sale and stuff. But it's a really nice car to drive around in if you're doing, like, a family roleplay and stuff. Um, is like what one to eight seats eight whole seats sounds really cool next unique car is I forgot to show you guys but this McLaren I've had this car for like a really really long time and I really love this that's why I kept it um, the engine sounds really nice we got our, my own custom plate here um, and it's really it's a really quick car as well and the engine is just amazing like you have to listen to this. I, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the engine noise of this thing is absolutely amazing. Like, I love this car a lot. Anyway, I've got a Corvette over here. Um, I really customized this car. As you can see, I'm doing the. This car is off sale and it spits flames and stuff. And I, in general, just really like this car. So, I also, for some reason, added a camber. For some reason. Don't know why. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Next vehicle is this Lexus over here. Limited Lexus. Um, this is a really quick car. And I like the two-tone paint over here. And it works really well with this blue. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely flipped up this guy over. Oh my goodness, this guy has been flipped over. Oh, he said, oi, light blue car. <laughs> What's he going to do in his globe city? Anyway, um, yeah, this is a really nice car to drive around in. Um, and it's one of my favorites as well, even though it's fictional. So yeah. Um, anyway, the next one I won't show you guys, but it's the two Teslas over here. These two are off sale and they're really, and they're the real ones. Um, not the fictional ones. This one is a DOT snow truck. Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> um, we have the snow plow over here. It's kind of strange driving this in summer, but 
it's fine. You can also sort the rows as you can see. You can even adjust the the um, plow and stuff. Look at that. Really, really cool. And what's this guy doing? I have no idea what he wants to do. Anyway, we got this for- Oh, jeez. This is a chaotic server. Um, anyway, we got the dual cab, I believe. The dual cab dodge over here. And, whoa. Someone just went so on. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is a limited dodge. As you can see, I've lowered it for some reason. I used to have a camber in this, but I got rid of it. Next time we got this to lift the dodge, I really, really love this truck a lot. Um, because it's just so powerful. And like the black stripes as well. Let's fill this up a little bit because it's almost out of gas. Anyway. Um, next unique car I own is this one over here. The limited Dodge Ram. Um, the unique thing about this one is the blue lights at the back. Look at, oh, I guess that doesn't work. Look at the blue lights at the back. This is so cool. And the turning circle is absolutely wild. Like, look at how much this thing turns. Like, look at that. It's absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> anyway, next one is the Dodge Ram lifted truck. Um, fun fact, I used to have Audi rims in this one, but I got rid of it. Um, we got some nice suspension over here. And yeah. In general, just really love this truck. Um, this car has... This car uses to have like a train horn, but now it has a boat horn for some reason. Anyway, we have this <laughs> ugly BMW. Oh my goodness, this thing is so ugly. Um, the pink paint is just wild. Um, and the oinky plate with the pink plate frame. Oh, this guy's the exact same car as me. Um, anyway. We even have some pink rims over here. It's just a pink car. Like, I, I tried to make this a pig because this car is a pig horn. <clears throat> anyway. Next vehicle I, I own that's unique is, um, <coughs> we're not going to talk about the Model X because it's quite obvious we got another Model X. We got the Teenage Dream BMW. Now, I'm not a huge fan of BMWs, but this BMW is an alright BMW, I would say. Um, it's really powerful and stuff, and I like, and I, in general, I like the look of it at the front. Um, are these guys going to go scream? Let's go around them. Alright. So, um, yeah, this car is pretty nice to drive around in. Um, unfortunately, this is pretty much banned in some roleplay servers, or it's like a tier 3 car. But overall, it's a really nice car. Fun fact oh my goodness, this Porsche is aggressive. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Fun fact about this car, it actually comes with this camber, so I did not add this camber myself. It already came with a camber. So yeah, pretty cool. And for some reason it's called the Teenage Dream, I don't know why. Next one is definitely one of the coolest ones. The 1300 horsepower Corvette. Um, look at this thing. Um, if we try launching it, look at that. Look at the speed of this thing. Just look at the speed. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is absolutely insane. 259 at its max speed. This thing like drinks gas like crazy, but it's absolutely worth it. It's so quick. Next we got the Tesla. I actually don't drive this car a lot to be honest, but got the Tesla. What do you call this? What do you even call this? It's like a Tesla pickup truck or something? Tesla. I don't know what to call this thing. Um. <clears throat> We call this the, oh, the Celeste truck, I knew that. But yeah, um, so limited obviously, um, just nothing too crazy. We got another Model 3 over there, the older one. Um, this is actually really cool, so this, um, the Chevy, the Chevy, um, undercover car. This is off sale, and you don't see this often. I don't know why I got this car, but I'm glad I got it, because it's already off sale now. And yeah, it's a really cool car, it even spits flames. It's one of the only police cars that spit flames. Um, so yeah. It's a really loud car as well, actually. Next one, we got a bunch of these old Teslas. We're not going to go through them, because, you know, we know what they are. 
Let's see, got this. I actually haven't driven this thing in such a long time, but I got the Avanta Row. For some reason, it's kind of dark in here, but it used to be way darker than this, trust me. Um, interior of this is pretty cool. Um, it's really Roblox-like, if you know what I mean. You can also have a back mirror over there. I think they made, I think they made it like way brighter in here. Before it used to be so dark you couldn't see what's outside. Um, and the unique thing about this car is the lights, they're pretty poorly modeled. But look at how much this car turns. Like, look at that, it can almost turn 90 degrees. Like, I mean, the, like this turning thing. But look at that, this thing turns like so easily. So let's say you're approaching this light over here and just want to make a U-turn. Look at how easy this thing turns. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro, this is actually insane. Next one, I don't know why I decided to make this car. But we have a base Saltima here with steelies and fully black everything. Black plate, black plate frame with I don't have insurance, um, steelies, and just black paint. I don't know why I made this car, but it seems like a cr criminal car. Next we have the V8 Prius. I actually haven't driven this car in a long time as well. It spits flames. Um, and it's a really, really quick car. Like, I was not expecting them to make a V8 Prius. Let's cut this guy off. Oh, it doesn't have collisions on. Um, <clears throat> next one, we have a base Ultima again. But this is an older model. If I kind of mess up the suspension here, just to make it a bit, like, beater-ish. Beater-like, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, don't ask why I did this. We have the... L Grand over here, or the Infinity. Where is this thing at? There it is. Um, Beater. So this thing actually spits flames. Got some. We got a plate that's about to fall out. We've got a scratched side panel here, a dented door, red daytime <laughs> running lights, um, and anything else that's damaged. And sort of damaged exhaust pipes. Is that damaged? I don't even know. Um, but yeah. We got steelies for this wheel as well, um, and it's a really unique car to drive around in, especially since it's like a beater and it's like stuff like that. Next one we got is like a really cool car, the Porsche Carrera, um, the Porsche Carrera um, GT or something. Look at this thing, bro! It's such a cool car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> cost me 1.4 million dollars but uh, this is such a cool car um, especially with the blue paint and stuff I really really like it and you can just do a donut like that such a cool car um, so yeah definitely one of my favorites next we got the I'm not well yeah I'll go through this one this one's the um, Wisconsin State Patrol slash taxi cab um, but this one over here is a taxi I tried making. I might make a video about um, on how to make this type of car. Um, but yeah, we've got a New York taxi over here that, that I made. Pretty cool. Next we got the BMW used car special thing. Um, here we've got broken, um, broken indicators, um, which are hyper flash. Here we've got a dent and a scratch. We've got blinkers that don't work on the left and lights that don't work. Um, oh, actually they do work now. Or it's kind of red daytime running light, which kind of look creepy. Um, and we got a little scratch just down there. <coughs> they actually should make another like beater car for us to buy because I kind of like these type of beaters. Um, and here we have a broken light at the back. I knew there was a broken light in this car. So yeah, pretty interesting, I'd say. Next vehicle is this Jeep over here. Fun fact about this Jeep, it flips over really, really easily. Um, I even put in these custom s smiley rims for some reason. And look at how easy this car flips over. I'm gonna make a turn over here, and I'll just flip it over like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another easy way to flip it is a pretty interesting way and you should probably take advantage of it since you can still do it now. Um, so basically over here, if you, there's a little pile of hay over there and if you just drive really quickly, 
and just like, oh, I flipped over. <laughs> um, you actually flip over some cars like that as well with this pile of hay. So yeah, pretty cool over here. Pretty cool. We've got the trophy truck here. I don't really use this car much, but it's just a nice car to have in my opinion. Um, Easter car, don't again, I don't use this car much. Um, but yeah, this thing spits flames and stuff, it's pretty cool. We can have an interior over here. Yeah, pretty cool car. Next one, we've got um, the Glow City Aeropod. Um, pretty interesting car, I'd say. Don't know what kind of car this is in real life, but yeah. We've got the barn find over here, um, all rusty and stuff. So we've got a bumper that's about to fall out. We've got a broken light over here. Um, <coughs> got a bunch of rust on here. So actually this whole car is rusty. We got some broken lights at the back, a bumper that also fall out at the back, and we got some rather interesting text that's about to fall out. Um, yeah, pretty interesting car. It's such a cheap car, that's why I bought it. And yeah. Um, next one is the Arrow Phoenix. It's actually a police car, but for some reason we don't have a radar. And yeah, look at this thing. We. <laughs> um, pretty cool. And finally, we have this random Halloween car, Ghostbusters car, or whatever you want to call it. Um, fun fact, this car is actually like a year old, and I can't believe that it's that old. That means I've been playing Green Book for over a year, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all the unique cars I own in Greenville. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. And I may have made this guy angry. Oops, okay. So yeah, goodbye. <laughs>